Back in 2013, we embarked on a project spanning two inner city blocks at a postcard location at Circular Quay. It has the Opera House on one side, the Harbour Bridge on the other. So it really is the most iconic location in Sydney. For a long time, the AMP Centre has essentially been a daytime precinct, a precinct for the workers. Key Quarter Sydney is an opportunity to create Sydney's newest urban neighbourhood, a vibrant destination with activated streets and laneways, to revitalise heritage assets, to create a diverse retail offer, anchored by boutique residential apartments and a very unique and globally distinctive office tower. It's about contributing and making a new district. It's about people and the way you experience place. We went through an international design competition where we chose 3XN as the designer of the tower. And they look at the office tower in a totally new and different way. I look at architecture, for my part, as a dialogue. And this building here is making a gesture to people. Come in, come and see how we are, and trying to get the life that you get in the cityscape up in the high rise. All architecture is about scaling too, so we divided the building up in different elements. So five elements twisting in different directions to get the best views. A key feature is the northern atrium, which winds its way from the very bottom of the tower to the very top. You can imagine looking through a six or nine storey atrium, but they give this amazing sense of light and space. The spaces that we're looking at creating is really about catering for collaboration and innovation. While the large 2,000 square metre net floor plates enable excellent horizontal connectivity, the atriums serve to provide the vertical connectivity. The movable floors enable a single village to be arranged and rearranged over time to create individual communities for the different tenants within the building. You're connected to the other floors and then placing a staircase in the centre of these atriums it makes it easier to connect to the other people and makes people interact in a better way. It really is the next generation of workplace. At the bottom of each of uh, these atriums there's a terrace uh, up in the air and of course these terraces will be wonderful uh, areas to go out and have the great view. To grab fresh air, to gather, to meet and to socialise. The lobby will also create a very unique and distinct experience. We want to create a marketplace of experiences. So there'll be the vibrant spaces activated by cafes, even bars. But then there'll be the quiet, more intimate spaces that people can escape to. It has to have a positive influence on the surroundings and on the people that's going to be in and around the building. So I think that's our obligation as architects. Key Quarter will deliver an array of public benefits. We wanted to bring the laneway culture back into Sydney and breathe new life into this historic part of the city. To activate a new urban laneway network between Young and Loftus streets, the reinstatement of Goldsboro Lane and the reinvigoration of heritage assets like Hinchcliffe House, one of Australia's first wool stores. We wanted to create a luxury of choice. 6,000 square metres of diverse retail will be incorporated across the two inner city blocks, your cafes, your restaurants, from quick service through to fine dining, an extensive convenience offering, lifestyle retail, and provide amenity focused on health and wellbeing, a gym, a spa, health food, and extensive end of trip facilities. One of the key innovations is that we'll not only be recycling the office tower, we'll be upcycling. We're using two thirds of this high rise. We're using the whole core, but we are doubling the square meters from the existing high rise. So this is a, an upcycling of a high-rise, and I haven't seen that done before. What's missing is the heart of the city itself, and with all of its ideas for how to draw people together and create a richness of life, Key Quarter will be the new heart.